Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Cause something's gonna change my mind I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends And your minutes into hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life For the good life Lap three in the books. We're going for it, baby. We're gonna get another lap in. The sun is shining. I still got, I think I have enough time before getting back to the family. So another lap, number four, Mount Morrison. Just need to get a little, little, little agua. Fourth loop in the bank. Oh baby, gonna have another Egg McMuffin. Oh, that last loop hurt. One through three, not so bad. Fourth loop, that hurt. My friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. Oh, come on, turn your hate into poetry, pain into power, and I meet some friends and your minutes into hours. And before we dive into the Innovate Mud Claw, G260 definitely needs some deep blue rub tonight. Oh man, thank you again, Scott, for sending this. Uh, I'll explain why in a minute with respect to the vertical gain today. All right, zesty. Oh yeah, deep blue rub, feeling good on the legs. Okay, this is not my full review. As you well know, I like to put 50 miles into a shoe before doing a full review. This is just my first impressions of the Innovate Mud Claw, holy smokes. Okay, today's run, let me just run you through the specs here. 15 miles, 24 kilometers, 8,700 feet of vertical gain or 2,600 meters. Wasn't quite expecting to do that much vertical gain, but uh, the legs felt good, the shoes were gripping the mud, and things were clicking along. And so Innovate uh, was founded in 2003, uh, so not too long ago, 15 or 16 years ago, in the British Fell country. So what are the Fells? Basically, it's this region in kind of 
upper northwest England where it gets it's really rainy uh, and there's hills there and the hills are great for running uh, but they're very very muddy so the connection between these uh, between their lineup of shoes is really connected to rain to mud and to uh, persevering in one's training through the elements no matter what the elements might be uh, so uh, that's the really brief backstory of Innovate. And for the Mud Claw, let's dive into a few specs real quick. It has a four millimeter drop from heel to toe. And I just put the shoe on the scale. And it's my, my shoe is coming in at 12 ounces, but this shoe is soaked with water from today and sweat. So I think it's actually being advertised closer to nine ounces. Uh, I think my shoe is a little heavy, heavy right now because it has water in it from today's run. So maybe check back tomorrow. I'll put it out in the sun a little bit, let it dry out. And I think the weight will drop down significantly. Uh, and then, of course, okay. Uh, for this this first impression, I'm not gonna run through the uh, the upper or the midsole. I will save that for the full review after 50 miles in the shoe. But there is the uh, there is the outsole, and the outsole is probably the most exciting part of this shoe. Look at the lugs on this thing; they are eight millimeters deep. That's right, eight millimeters. Try to wrap your mind around that lug depth, and it is made out of a graphene based rubber. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute, but just soak in uh, th those lugs on the bottom. Frankly, it puts every other shoe I've ever worn kinda to shame when it comes to the grip in a muddy condition. Just just say, just calling it right now. Uh, I felt in complete control going up the mountain today, Mount Morrison, and back down. The Mud Claw also has a Metaflex right uh, where your toes connect to the to the ball of your foot and to basically your midfoot, and it basically allows for a little extra flex for when you're climbing up the mountain. And I could feel it today, so good job Innovate thinking of creating this little area or region of the outsole that allows just a little extra flex. And again, I'm gonna save the upper and the midsole for the full review, the outsole. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna read from the Innovate website here. Okay, so in 1555, graphite was first mined in the Lake District Fells of Northern England. Uh, in 2004, scientists at the University of Manchester isolated graphene from graphite. And then fast forwarding to 2018, Innovate launches the first ever sports footwear to utilize graphene delivering the world's toughest grip. That's amazing. So this is like really, really new technology for really the entire world's running shoe lineup. And again, let me just read one more thing. Uh, previously, athletes had to choose between a sticky rubber that works well in wet or sweaty conditions, but wears down quicker, and a harder rubber that is more durable, but not quite as grippy. Through intensive research, hundreds of prototypes, and thousands of hours of testing in both the field and laboratory, athletes now no longer need to compromise. The new rubber we have developed uh, with the National Graphene Institute at the University of Manchester allows us to smash the limits of grip. So I don't know all the science. You can go learn more at the Innovate website. But basically, this out this outsole is something special. <clears throat> and I will say, I am going to be fascinated, as always, to see what the durability will be for these lugs and even where the lugs are protruding from the actual base of the outsole because right now I can feel with my fingers the grip just like running my fingers over the outsole and it's exciting and today but again like at, you know like here in the Rocky Mountains it's a mixture of mud and rock so I'll just be curious to see how the outsole holds up whereas obviously in the Fell and Lake District over in England where the shoe really would probably perform at its best, uh, it would probably the, the the lifespan of the outsole would probably be much much longer. All right, now let's get down to the good stuff. How did they actually perform on Mount Morrison today for 8,700 feet up and 8,700 feet down? All right, uh, first a couple of minor minor drawbacks. The, the the lugs actually caused me to trip 
two or three times. Basically, I caught, like these lugs are just so intense. I wasn't quite used to them. And I it basically, I think they're gonna teach me to lift my legs up a little bit when I'm in this shoe because I caught the lugs on some rocks, like I said, two or three times. I didn't fall over. It just was a little bit of a catch and I just had to catch my step. And for some positives, first of all, the water from the snow and the mud today was, so I did four laps up and down Mount Morrison. For two and a half laps, I didn't feel any water in the shoes. So I would say as far as keeping the water out, they did pretty darn good. Uh, by lap, by the top of the third lap, I could feel my feet getting pretty wet. Um, but I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? Like, and I did not use the gaiters that came with the shoe today. I think I'll try the gaiters next time, just to, just to see how they perform. Um, so anyway, that was a good, that was a bonus that the water was kept out pretty well. Uh, and then also a solid lockdown feel through the upper uh, on the top of the foot the combination of the lacing system and uh, the eyelets and just how the the upper basically wrapped around the top of my foot and the tongue oh man it just was very a very nice comfortable lockdown feel I didn't have to relace once that's a miracle like most brand new shoes that I that I test out I have to stop in the middle of the first run and relace because I either tied them too loose or most often tie them too tight so in conclusion this shoe gave me freedom that's right this shoe gave me freedom today to go explore a muddy uh, snow-packed trail that frankly I never would have even thought about touching a year ago I would have waited till May late April when the snow is all gone the mud is beginning to dry out this shoe allowed me and listen I've been up that trail before in other shoes but I had no fear in this shoe so that's what I mean by when I say like in conclusion this shoe it gave me freedom to go to go out and I can't even imagine living in the fell country uh, or the Lake District I don't know what you exactly call it but the Lake District in England and just being in horrible horrible weather and just being like it doesn't matter I'm going out my front door I'm gonna go run some hills in some tall grass and ankle deep mud and I'm gonna have a ball because I've got the mud claws on my side so mud claw that is the key word mud claw and the question of the day and this actually usually I don't connect the question of the day to the shoe uh, the, on the first impression of a shoe so I'm gonna go this direction uh, have you ever thought about on your run the concept of freedom and how running perhaps gives you freedom all right and listen we've got people literally around the world watching this vlog and so I'll be curious to hear like do you experience a little bit of freedom when you're running because for me today I felt free I felt I felt in control in the mud I felt free like I could go do anything so that is the question of the day I know it's a little philosophical you might have to hit pause and think for a second like or maybe you have a really specific specific example of a run that you have done that you got you got back to your car you back, got back to your house and it was like I'm free like that was like I just I, I, it's, I, that was, it was just freedom out there, just exploring and seeing new sights and experiencing a culture or experiencing a mountain. So that is the question of the day. I'm fired up about the Innovate Mudclaw G260, and we will give you the full review after 50 miles. Stay tuned for that, which hopefully will happen pretty darn soon. If you know what I mean, Billy Jean. Oh man, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Mark, Peter, thank you for making this happen.